All right, let's get right into it. There's this major new AI lab, Thinking Machines, and they just launched their first product, an API they're calling Tinker. But here's the thing. It has this one feature that, when you first look at it, seems like a complete catastrophic mistake. So today, we are going to pull back the curtain and solve the mystery of why this so-called slow API is actually, well, a work of genius. And that right there is the big puzzle, isn't it? Tinker seems to have this flaw that's built in on purpose, a delay that just flies in the face of everything we know about high-performance AI. It's a real head-scratcher. So what on earth is going on here? You know, to really get why this is so weird, you have to understand the number one unspoken rule of modern AI. You must feed the GPU. These chips are insanely powerful and they are incredibly expensive. Every single nanosecond that a GPU isn't crunching numbers is a nanosecond and a whole lot of money just gone, wasted. It is the cardinal sin of this entire field. To solve this whole tinker mystery, we've got to get some context first. So let's take a quick trip back in time, all the way to the ancient history of, well, of 2023. Seriously, understanding how things were done just a year or two ago is the key to seeing why Tinker's design is so radical. So back then, the entire game was about one thing, keeping that GPU fed. It was an obsession. You'd pre-download all your data, you'd cram smaller bits of text together into bigger chunks, you would do anything and everything humanly possible to make sure there was never, ever a bottleneck between your data and those precious computing cores. Right, so the old method, supervised fine-tuning, was kind of like giving a student a quiz, but with the answer key right there. You show it a question, you show it the perfect pre-written answer, and you just say, hey, learn to do this. But this newer, much more powerful technique, online reinforcement learning, is totally different. It lets the model try to answer the quiz on its own. Then you score its answers, good, bad, close, and you teach it to get better through trial and error. And this capability, right here, is what Tinker is really built for. And that brings us to Tinker itself. The API is built around just a few simple, really powerful building blocks. They call them primitives. And these primitives, they're the clues that are going to help us crack the case of its very strange design. So Tinker only gives you four main functions. On one hand, this simple toolkit lets you do that old school fine tuning, no problem. But where it really shines is with online reinforcement learning. You can sample a response from the model. You can see how good it is with a forward underscore backward pass. And then, and this is the key part, you use optum underscore step to teach the model based on that feedback right before you save underscore state. It's a whole feedback loop. And boom, here we are, right back at the scene of the crime. Every single one of those steps requires a network call. You have to send your data over the internet, which adds, at minimum, 100 to 200 milliseconds of waiting time, every single time. It feels like it's deliberately starving the GPU, breaking that 